Hey folks, I'm R.J. Byrne. I'm the University of Georgia Thomas County Agriculture Agent. And today I'm going to talk to you, or I got with me Dr. Stanley Culpepper, and we're going to talk about a game plan for our 2011 crop season for cotton and managing pigweed. Dr. Culpepper. Thank you. Uh, right now it's January. In January and February, all of our growers need to sit down and start developing a management program to manage Palmer amaranth. Waiting until May, June, or July, basically you probably will not succeed in your management program. So the first step is to start developing a program now. Now that program has several important aspects. First of all, when we go to planting, we have to have the field free of palm amaranth. So we, if we have to put out burn down programs, whether it's a residual herbicide, whether it's tillage, we have to make sure we start off clean with no weeds emerged. Then it's absolutely essential that we include residual herbicides applied throughout the crop. For example, one of the programs that we'll recommend in Roundup Ready Technology this year will be start off clean, put residual herbicides at planting, then we'll come in early post with a, a product like Roundup mixed with another residual herbicide, then we'll come in mid post again with, with Roundup and a residual herbicide, and then we'll lay by the crop with a conventional chemistry such as Diuron plus MSMA. The key to our success in management is to, is to start now, develop a sound program that's integrated with other management tactics such as tillage, such as hand weeding, such as heavy, heavy residues and conservation tillage, but to complement those with the herbicide programs that we're recommending with those herbicide programs dependent heavily on residuals. Now, I also want to point out we're traditionally Roundup Ready cotton. That's what we grow. But the Ignite-based programs and the use of an Ignite herbicide applied over the top of cotton that is tolerant or resistant to Ignite is also a very, very good option. So again, this is a very complex and complicated system. In 2010, we spent $60 per acre on herbicides. We spent another $25 per acre hand weeding. So we're spending a tremendous amount of money. The best way to save some money is to develop a plan now. Go sit down with your local county cooperative extension office and develop a sound integrated type program. All right, and if you need some more information on managing pigweed and cotton this year, check out the links below. You can see some of the programs developed by Dr. Culpepper, and this will help you get pigweed in a manageable level this year in 2011. Thanks.